Hey everyone, Tracy at Mystically Divine Tarot. How's everyone today? I hope you're all doing great. Welcome to my channel and welcome to today's pick a card reading. Today we are going to be asking spirit what's going on in this connection, okay? So what's going on between you and the person you're feeling connected to, the person on your mind here? Please remember to like this video and also to subscribe if you haven't already. Anyone interested in a private reading, there are links at the end of each section of the video and also in the description box below, okay? So for today we have, for crystal number one, we have the Appetite Crystal. Real pretty blue aqua crystal with the Breaking Free card, okay? For crystal number two, we have the Howlite crystal. This pretty crystal here. With the communication card. Okay, and then for crystal number three, we have the green fluorite crystal. It's pretty, very pretty green. With the magic card. Okay. So choose which crystal or card, however your intuition points you to choose. Choose which one resonates with you most and I will see you in your reading. If you resonated with crystal number one, the Appetite Crystal, and the Breaking Free card, this will be your reading, okay? So today we are asking Spirit what's going on in this connection. And what I immediately felt with this card coming through was a few things. It's breaking free from the past. Could be a past um, relationship. And this could, for some of you, um, also be breaking free of past limiting beliefs here, okay? So I feel like today it's kind of like a mixture here. Um, always remember these are general readings, so a lot of different energy comes through. Only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. So if you know, um, let's say your person isn't in need of breaking free of another relationship, well, maybe they're in need of breaking free of some self-limiting beliefs, some self-sabotage, things like that, or vice versa. This could also be you as well. So always keep that in mind when we're asking about, this is a connection, so there's two people involved here. Let's see, two or more, two or more. So see, for some of you, yeah, there could be a, you know, someone else involved. This could be breaking free of, you know, societal belief systems, uh, family um, belief systems, uh, religions, things like that. There could be a lot coming through here today for you. Let's see, for crystal number one, what's going on in this connection yeah five of wands see some conflict yeah com conflict conflicting thoughts oh my gosh so much coming through holy cow conflicting thoughts conflict someone could be surrounded by conflict there could be someone here um having conflicting thoughts right should i shouldn't i will i won't i <laughs> okay back and forth in the mind kind of thing okay um Wands are about action too, so I feel like this is movement um, out of that action, away from that action there, okay? Two of wands, yeah, making the choice. Making better choices here. Uh, someone in this connection making a better choice for themselves. Breaking free from something that was holding them back or limiting themselves here. What else for crystal number one? what's going on in this connection wow look at this eight of pentacles yeah hard work paying off so working really hard toward it as well okay this could be doing a lot of internal work this could be if it's someone trying to remove themselves from a toxic or bad situation relationship this could be actually taking the physical steps to do that right taking action out of that situation um toward um feeling the rewards of it, right? So taking the action and then feeling rewarded for it. What else for crystal number one? What's going on in this connection? And again, multiple energies coming through today. So for sure, sometimes one single type of energy types that comes, comes through, but today it's definitely a mixed bag. Yeah, nine of swords. Something that's been causing a lot of anxiety in this connection, okay? So if someone, say your person or you are connected to someone else, trying to remove yourself from that situation, it was causing a lot of anxiety, sleepless nights, things like that. Um, what I feel here is that this is, you know, taking action out of that. So trying to 
take steps toward breaking free because the breaking free card is the general energy card that came out when I sh when I shuffled earlier before the reading for each crystal here. So this is a breaking free of that uh, Nine of Swords energy, that anxiety, um, moving away from something not suited for you here. What else here? We have Queen of Wands, Emperor together. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this could definitely be working out a conflict between two people, okay? Uh, since we have a feminine and masculine energy coming out here together. Um, someone here uh, feeling very passionate about their choices as well. Very strong in their choice. Very, um, what is the word? Uh, determined. That's the word I'm looking for. Determined uh, for resolution here. Very determined to make the proper choice for themselves and stick with it is what I'm feeling here. Very passionate about that choice as well with the Queen of Wands. Feeling um, almost like, you know, I know what I want and I'm sick of not getting it, so to speak. Sick of not going toward it. I'm putting that work in now to actually get there. Okay, so someone definitely uh, taking action here to resolve something, break free from something. Two of Wands, uh, again, I am feeling like this could be self-limiting beliefs for some of you, but for others, it could be of a past relationship of sorts. It could be a family relationship or a romantic relationship. It could be either or. Two of Wands, why this Two of Wands? For crystal number one. Yeah, putting down the burdens, yep. Releasing the burdens of the past, making that choice to release the burdens from the past. Um, yeah, definite, definite um, courage here coming through, strength, okay? Um, yeah, really knowing the path ahead here is what I'm feeling. The Eight of Pentacles, what's this Eight of Pentacles? Hard work paying off for sure here. About... Yeah, Page of Wands, a new start. Yeah, a passionate new start. So this, whatever this is that someone is breaking free from is going to open the door to a new beginning here, a passionate new beginning. Um, so this could be the driving force here, the inspiration. Look at this, walking away, exactly. Eight of Cups, yeah. This could be the driving force, the inspiration here. Um, feelings, right? Feeling like, you know what, I deserve more than what I currently have. Um, I deserve more than what I'm telling myself for some of you with those self-limiting beliefs. It could be a belief system in your own mind um, or in this person's mind. Telling them they didn't deserve more or, you know, this is where I, you know, I chose to be here. This is where I'm kind of stuck, right? That would be a self-limiting belief. No, that just because you chose something for yourself in the past doesn't mean you have to stay stuck there, okay? Um nine of swords eight of cups yeah making that emotional decision to walk away from it having to do that to relieve this anxiety for sure um this is definitely a step up type energy um a change in perspective happening here wow unique so they're feeling like this connection here is very unique um special again i felt inspired action so they're feeling differently here about this connection and it's opened their eyes to what they deserve you know maybe you um this could be a situation where you've told them you deserve so much more or, or something like that here what else Ooh, surrender yeah surrender at times we must surrender the old there it is right surrendering the old before something new can enter our life right yeah let go and all will work out. Yeah, this is about surrendering it, letting it go. Um, time to move forward here, right? Yeah, for sure. This is definitely energy uh, for some of you very strongly of someone um, releasing themselves from a past type of connect, release your blocks, re a past connection, okay? Or family belief systems, things like that. Release your blocks. Yeah, it's definitely time to do this here, releasing those blocks, moving forward beautiful this is good uh transformational energy here i like it very much choosing um better for yourself here you or this person of course 
quieting the mind and wish upon a star. Okay, so yeah, taking time to do that inner work and really work, get, get out of this anxiety, right? Quiet the mind down um, and really feel, okay? Feel with the heart space. Uh, wish upon a star. I feel again, this is very special to them. This connection has really uh, touched this person in their heart here. Mm, yeah, you've, you've really lit this person up. You're like a bright light here. Uh, and a, a shining star of inspiration. Mm, wow. That's amazing. Awesome. I love it. What else for crystal number one, please? What's going on in this connection for crystal number one? There definitely uh, is some conflict right now, it feels, like in the current energies here, uh, but definitely feeling like resolution here with that Eight of Pentacles. The hard work, pain. Look at this, freedom. <laughs> yeah, freeing every part of themselves, their mind, their heart, freeing every part of themselves to open up to the possibilities of the future. Wow, big energy here, beautiful. Wow, definitely some, like I said, something to walk away from uh, could be, again, for some of you, someone here is definitely doubting their own worth or something here, self-limiting beliefs, you know, I don't deserve that type of energy. There's some of that coming through for sure. And for a lot of you, I feel here, it's something to do with the connection, um, family or otherwise, free spirit. Yeah, so it, they, their spirit is going to soar, okay? Once they make, you or this person makes this decision to uh, break free, the spirit is going to soar. You're gonna be following what your soul has been telling you all along here is what I'm feeling. Look at this, clean it up. Or chop wood, chop wood. Yeah, the work. Okay. I thought it was clean it up, which again, um, could have definitely been since I thought it was that, uh, cleaning up the, the mind here, right? But chopped wood, putting in the work to do so. Okay. Definitely putting in the, the work internally here to do so. Um, really getting into that energy of I deserve this. Okay. And feeling the emotion of actually having it, right? And drawing it in. Uh, the more we focus on the good, the more good can come, right? Let's see what else. What's going on in this connection? 1111 just passed my timer, by the way. Just in case that means you're on the right path here. 1111 could be a uh, twin flame as well. Time to let go. Yeah, exactly. Got Groundhog spirit, time to let go. Card number 31, I don't know why that's standing out to me, but it is, so it could be relevant to someone here. Always keep in mind specific details. They don't have to resonate with everyone. That could resonate with just one person, but it's there for a reason, and it came to my attention for a reason here. Um, to let them know that this, you know, this message is for them. Time to let go, right? Um, yeah, this whole reading here is about letting go of the past and moving on to the future. So definitely someone here choosing to do that is what I'm feeling. What's going on in this connection? Go slow, take time, fogged in. Um, I'm getting a couple of messages here. Um, I'm getting don't rush, take the time necessary. Um, but I'm also getting um, to move forward, okay? Uh, with this boat moving through the water here. Um, so move forward, but don't rush it. Okay, so... Take your time with it. Do the work necessary. Um, yeah, really um, intended action. Intended action. So make sure you're, yeah, set your intention. Um, take action toward that intention, but don't rush it, okay? So if it doesn't happen right now, don't feel like, you know, you failed or anything like that. That definitely isn't the case. Things, you know, great things sometimes take time. Um, okay, we have two. We have gratitude and love. Oh, beautiful, yeah. There's a lot of uh, grateful energy here between you. Uh, feeling grateful for one another here and loving one another very deeply here as well. Uh, again, I feel like this is a pretty powerful love of, you know, feeling unique, special, right? Uh, wishes coming true, opening up the heart here. 
A lot of uh, deep loving energy coming through here for you, Crystal number one, for sure. Um, there was something else that came through. There's so much. Oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, maybe it'll come back to me here um, if, while I'm looking at that card there. There's just so many messages. It's hard to sometimes get them all out. Um, so much love between you. Yeah, there's a deep, special feeling here. What else? Yeah, actions speak loudly. See, uh, yeah, there's definitely action being taken here um, in this connection. Express your love through actions. So this card here, I'm getting like a feeling here that they, there could be some sort of expression in the physical here, like you know, like someone coming toward you here or, you know, expressing some sort of love in some way, but with action, okay? Like could be bringing you like flowers or, you know, writing you a letter, communicating with you something, okay? Um, sending a message. Mm, for some of you, it could be sending a message. Yeah, so you might hear from this person um, about something, about their love. And their action is going to speak very loudly to you here. We have desire and spying. So, yeah, this could be a situation if they are connected to someone else here. I feel a sneeze coming on. That means something. I don't know exactly what, but sometimes when it happens, it means something. It might mean something to you. I don't know. <laughs> desire and spying. Uh, I feel here, if this person is connected to someone else, there's a deep desire to be with you here. Um, and also that they're kind of like looking at your photos is what I'm getting here. Uh, they could be really um, dreaming about you. You know, wanting closeness. Wanting to be connected more, you know. Like really wanting to feel the connection feel the connection so yeah they they feel it in their heart but they want to feel it in the physical here is what I'm feeling here they want to like touch you you know like actually feel you next to them all right what else let's get some let's get some message cards out actually for this let's see for crystal number one what's going on in this connection get some message cards out here yeah I'm feeling pulled to get these so let's get these out they might tell us some more here you hold the key to my heart Whoop. you hold the key to my heart so an expression of love here from this person uh, you do hold the key to the their heart you're very special to this person you're the only one wow you're the only one for someone out there Beautiful. What else? For crystal number one, what's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection for crystal number one? Oh, we have a flipper. I feel unworthy of you. Hmm. So yeah, that could be some of the anxiety, self-limiting beliefs that I was picking up on, right? Someone here feeling unworthy of the other. This isn't necessarily for all of you, remember, but for some of you that that definitely was coming through. I have been hiding my true feelings for you. Yeah, so it's a possibility here if this person was connected to someone else here that they didn't feel it was right to express their feelings here is what I'm picking up there. Um, if they were still physically connected in another relationship or something like that, they might have been afraid to, or not even afraid, but maybe they just thought that it wasn't right. Um you know, by society's standards, I can't say that to someone else when I'm connected to someone else kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, again, self-limiting beliefs, things like that, societal beliefs. What else for crystal number one? Let's get another one of these, and then we'll get some of the others as well. What do we have here? It's flipped over. I dream about you every night. Yeah, so I was already picking that up here for some of you here. For sure, this person dreaming about you when you're, when you're not together with this person. Um, feeling very connected to you 
even if they are with someone else is what I'm feeling here. They're feeling very connected to you um, in their heart space, you know, in their heart and soul, uh, feeling that connection more so um, with you here, knowing they need to disconnect here from this other energy here. What else? Let's get some of these out as well for crystal number one, please. What's going on in this connection? Looking in your eyes feels like looking in the mirror. Yeah, they feel it very deeply in their soul here. Uh, I'm picking up like soul recognition here. Mm, it is one of the very strong uh, twin flame cards in the deck here as well. Um, I wrote the deck, so I know. Um, <laughs> but for me, it's definitely a... Sometimes it doesn't give me those vibes, but today definitely it is. Um, there's this deep recognition that this person feels here um, for you. Or vice versa. This could be you feeling that way about them as well. Remember, we're asking about the connection here. What's going on in this connection? Somebody definitely feeling soul connected here. What else? Always have faith that I will return to you. There's another one. Yeah. Okay, so a lot of times, uh, again, Twin Flame vibes coming through again. Not always, but definitely today. Um, always have faith that I will return to you. Uh, this could be a situation where this person um, had to remove themselves from the connection to enable them to get through and break free th their own energy, break their own energy free uh, be, to be able to free, freely love, right? Um, because even though you're connected at the soul and you have that love, we are humans living a three-dimensional reality, right? Um, so if this person is connected possibly through, like, say, marriage or something like that, they might have had to remove themselves um, until they could balance their own energy out here um, and free their heart and their soul to love another here is what I'm feeling. Uh, always have faith that I will return, though, here. So, yeah, always knowing that they were coming back here. And again, could be you or this person. Mm, strong twin flame vibes there. Both of those cards. What else? For crystal number one, what's going on in this connection? Being with you will be a dream come true. Yeah, ex extremely special, okay? to one another here, extremely special to one another. Uh, feeling like you both feel uh, like there's this, you are each other's dream, right? Like a dream connection here. I lie awake at night wishing you were next to me. Yeah, dreaming about you, lying awake at night wishing you were next to them here. Uh, definitely powerful feelings here between you. Let's get some guidance cards out for crystal number one in this situation. Guidance for this connection. feeling drawn to pull these as well. I have a plan usually before I start a reading, but if I'm pulled by spirit to a specific deck, sometimes I will add on to the reading, even if I didn't intend. These three here definitely feeling pulled to do it, so clairvoyant. Pay attention. Tap into your power. You could have visions and dreams about the situation. Yeah, I feel definitely someone here is having dreams about the situation, okay? Uh, but these could be visions um, in the form of signs, okay? Uh, dreams and, and visions about the situation. Signs that, you know, pointing this person or you in the right direction. What else? Choose wisely. Always use your own discernment to make better choices. Did I not say this way back here? Making a better choice for themselves. Someone here is making a, a better choice for themselves. Uh, finally choosing themselves. One more, please. I said that literally with the two of wands there. For sure. 
meditate yeah focus on your breath and just allow your thoughts to quiet okay quieting this mind right um opening up to your inner guidance so that is something very important to do here in this connection between you um really trying to clear it up here clear up that clutter of the mind the overthinking um anxiety sleepless nights about it um kind of needing to tame that beast right <laughs> and really bring it in uh balancing the energy out okay all right, crystal number one, that is what I have for you for today. I hope this reading was helpful. If it was, please give it a like and remember to subscribe. All of those things really help my channel out. So I do appreciate it so, so much. And I also appreciate all of you that have been watching, you know, the 30 second ads or whatever. Um, I totally understand when somebody wants to click off a five minute ad because who makes a five minute ad? But anyway, I mean, I'm totally with you on that as well. If you do click off of those. Um, because I don't watch them either. They're way too long. Um, but anyway, I hope this reading was helpful and I will see you in the next reading. If you resonated with crystal number two, the How Light Crystal and the Communication card, this will be your reading, okay? So for today, crystal number two, what I get from this is that there might be a lot of talking and communicating going on. It could be in the 5D, it could be um, in the physical here, messages, emails, calls, things like that. So we're going to find out more with the tarot. What's going on in this connection for crystal number two? But definitely um, some sort of communication happening here. Again, uh, could be, I was picking up for some of you, um, could be even just energetically, 5D connection here, um, possible deep soul here, uh, connection where you're connecting in the 5D, okay? Um, and again, these are general readings on YouTube, so just remember, only take what resonates with you and leave the rest behind. Um, sometimes messages don't even line up, but they could be for someone else, right? Um, Knight of Wands. Wow. So yeah, a lot of passionate exchange here. Could be a lot of flirting in this communication here is what I'm picking up with this card. Could be a lot of flirting, um, sexual type of energy here coming through. Hmm. Really like icebreakers. Icebreakers. Hmm. Interesting. So someone coming in playful, flirty, or being playful and flirty. Could be even with this person yeah balance Ooh, balance is required here so keep it in balance okay so in this connection always keep in mind too we're talking about a connection so this could be your energy or their energy coming through okay hold on i got a hair here okay um this could be your energy or their energy coming through but definitely um a need to keep it in balance so Try not to go overboard is what I'm feeling here. Um, there could be a lot of excitement here is what I'm feeling. Try to keep your energy kind of neutral here. Chariot, wow, yeah, really wanting to rush forward here. Um, this communication could be really having you fired up here, wanting to move forward very quickly. But with the temperance card coming out, I feel like it's kind of like just kind of temper yourself a little bit. Um, maybe try to slow it down just a hair here. Let's see what else, what's going on in this connection. Very passionate, fiery energy coming through here for you, crystal number two. This could be taking a relationship to the physical level. Um, you know, really getting, um, physically intimate here. Eight of one, more communication. You're gonna, you guys are talking a lot for sure. <laughs> okay. And it might come in pretty quickly and unexpectedly as well. Um, I'm seeing like two people going back and forth, back and forth with text messages or something or messaging or something, uh, back and forth communication here. A lot going back and forth could be um, a little bit of kind of like sexting involved in this situation is what I'm feeling. There's a lot of fiery, passionate energy coming through here. Um, really kind of lighting each other's fire here. Could be from afar, could be in the 5D for some of you as well. A lot of sexual energy here. Let's see, Knight of Wands. Devil, yeah, exactly, wow. 
<laughs> you aren't kidding. So yeah, a lot of a lot of desire, a lot of passion between you um, here for sure. Uh, seducing, yeah, seducing one another here with words. Wow, so yeah, seducing each other with words. <laughs> sexting that's what i was feeling uh, a moment ago hanged man so someone here uh really needing a change in perspective okay so just taking that pause again it we i felt it here with the temperance card it's just kind of slowing it down just a hair okay um taking that pause yeah taking the pause necessary here so just kind of um just trying to slow it down a little bit here is what I'm feeling you may need to do here with this situation. Let's see the chariot. Wow. Wow. Yeah, this is someone you're connected to someone here that's really looking for it all here. Ten of Pentacles, beautiful, like happily ever after energy um, could be wanting to commit very quickly or something like that here. Maybe just having to take a little breather and take your time with it a little bit. Um, this decision here, you or this person, because um, it could be you wanting to commit very quickly as well, or it could be them. Um, really seeing a future here with you though, Queen of Swords. Yeah, so having to put up boundaries. So yeah, there might be an instance here where one or both of you have to kind of... Um, be a little bit more logical about it is what I feel kind of like setting that boundary like okay that's great but we have to kind of um look at this this and this before we can commit to that if that makes any sense okay um but that's how it's coming through here so looking at this 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 really assessing the situation okay uh communicating a lot about it so there's a lot of back and forth talk could be about the future again could be about settling down right um there's a lot going on with communication here for sure definitely a lot of sexual energy as well um yeah there's there's just a need for a moment of pause is what i'm feeling here and it might not be a long moment of pause, but there's definitely some moment for reflection here. Again, looking at this, 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 right? And then deciding on that. So just really um, assessing the situation, I guess. Let's see what else is going on in this situation here. We have bliss. Wow bliss beautiful yeah you make each other extremely happy um you really see a future here is what i'm feeling with the ten of pentacles and that bliss card for sure really feeling um deeply connected and loving this person is what i'm feeling um wanting it all with them them wanting it all with you i am feeling like it's kind of like a back and forth thing too um, that you're both kind of feeling the same way and communicating this to one another here. Again, for some of you, I, like I said, I was picking up in the 5D. So this could be um, a lot of energy exchange in the 5D here as well. But definitely, whoa, the card is falling. So we have, uh, definitely there's a feeling of connectedness here for sure. Okay, so we have this card here. And it is... Mm, my beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united for love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. See, so for some of you, definitely was feeling it here with the communication card. For some of you, this isn't necessarily physical communication. This could be communication in the 5D, spiritual connection, right? So this is a very deep soul bond for some of you here, okay? It may be for all of you here, Um but definitely feeling like someone here communicating um, in the 5D. So you may be physically apart from this person, but really exchanging um, communication in the 5D here. Telepathy, things like that. Really connecting, yep, in the higher realms. Work through your feelings, okay? So yeah, this could be this right here, which is what I was saying. Look at this, 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 and then decide on that. Work through those feelings. So if something comes up or there's some sort of an opportunity presented, um, 
really work through how it makes you feel first is what I feel. This could be this moment of pause. This just a short little moment here of reflection is what I feel there. Okay. Let's see what else for crystal number two. What's going on in this connection? Close encounters. Ooh, getting close. Yep. Again, lots of physical, um, lots of physical chemistry here is what I'm feeling. Um, lots of sexual energy as well between you close encounters really wanting to be close and experience this in the physical okay so if you are someone who is connecting with this person in the 5d i feel like um this close encounter is a want a desire for both of you here in the physical world here definitely wanting that closeness what else for crystal number two please what's going on in this connection freedom yeah wow feeling free uh feeling free to choose so feeling free to choose yeah this here so there's no pressure okay there's no pressure this this person and you uh you know could because it could be vice versa i feel like whoever is saying you know hold on let's look at this 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 uh there's no pressure to make that decision you feel free to make that choice for yourself you don't feel like this person will get angry with you or judge you or anything like that. I feel like you feel um, comfortable enough here to take that pause and know that it won't, you know, it won't change how you feel about one another here. There's a lot of bliss here, a lot of uh, wanting more for, of the future here, uh, wanting stability together. And there is a lot of wanting fast, but again, feeling that slowing down thing will not um, impede is what I feel on this connection. What else? Truth. So you're very truthful to one another here. You express your feelings truthfully and you know that this person won't judge you and vice versa. Okay. Uh, which is what I was picking up here. It's okay. They won't, they won't feel any differently because of it is what I'm feeling. So you're safe to express your truth here. What else? What's going on in this connection? The fates. Yeah. See, for some of you, the fates came out here. Yeah. Feeling like this is a fated connection. Okay. Feeling like you're meant to be. This is your person. Okay. Um, very strongly was coming through here uh, right from the beginning, but definitely in this card here for sure. What else? For crystal number two, what's going on in this connection? Tend to the small things. There it is. Mouse spirit, right? Here, tending to the small things, working through those feelings. It's okay. Tend to the small things that lead to the big things, okay? So really work on the here and now. Um, the small things right in front of you will lead you to the bigger things down the road is what I'm feeling there. Okay, what else here for crystal number two? What's going on in this connection? Finding sanctuary, opening to your spiritual source. Yeah, so again, feeling faded, feeling like this is destiny, really opening up to your own spirit, right? Your, your soul at source here, really connected, uh, both of you here. Um, and finding sanctuary in that, right? So you both could be into meditation here, uh, really connecting with source, uh, really connecting with your heart space. Yeah, and, and trying not to allow fear to, um, you know, take you to places that, you know, you, you really don't need to go is what I feel. So I don't feel like this pause here is about fear. Okay, I feel like it's just um, simple assessing of the situation. Yeah, definitely here. Okay, let's see what else for crystal number two. What's going on in this connection for crystal number two? Definitely feeling a deep soul bond for uh, at least some of you here for sure. Um, coming through pretty strong here turn on your heart light and be supportive yeah see i told you they would be right here with the freedom card you're free to say it as it is here this person will be supportive either way um and vice versa if they're the ones wanting to take the pause you will be supportive as well turn on your heart light yeah you both kind of shining really brightly to one another right now is what i'm feeling um even if you're not connected in the physical they are seeing your light from wherever they are is what i'm feeling okay um your light is shining through 
the love in your heart is so strong yeah wow the love in their heart is so strong and your your heart is so strong beautiful so there's a deep powerful love shared here between you is what i'm feeling mm, definitely some deep spiritual you're both very spiritual too is what i'm feeling here what else we have perfectionism so someone could be wanting to be perfect here um permission to make mistakes is so freeing is what's sticking out to me here so wanting to release any mistakes from the past here um what i'm feeling here is that with this person you feel that it's okay you feel like it it doesn't matter if i've messed up in the past and this could be this person too uh, of course right um they don't feel or you don't feel like the mistakes of the past really matter okay um and it's funny because this card kind of flipped mistakes <laughs> but it went back but i just kind of like feel like maybe it's connected here because this is about mistakes um it flipped and went back but i'm gonna take it allow me to know it's okay yeah see definitely connected here there's something about a mistake from the past here um in this connection that the other person has made the opposite person feel like it's okay don't worry about it okay so again that's very supportive energy coming through here like we are human we make mistakes it's okay um is what i'm picking up here and like i said that mistakes card went back and then i'm like you know what i think it might be relevant so i'm gonna take it even though it didn't flip completely out because i do feel like that's relevant it's something to do with a mistake from the past that um is now it, it's kind of like squashed because the other person has been so supportive and has been so um reassuring that it doesn't really matter the mistakes of the past don't matter okay is what i was picking up there okay so now i'm going to oh actually no i'm going to pull these first but there are three cards that i wasn't even going to pull for this reading but in crystal number one i was being called by spirit to get those out so after this card here um i am going to get out a couple of different message cards and some guidance cards because i was really being pulled to do that for crystal number one wasn't a part of the initial plan but i feel like it was definitely a necessary part of the reading so i'm gonna do that here as well what else for crystal number two loyal yeah you both feel very loyal to one another regardless of the current situation is what i'm feeling um if even if you're not together you're feeling very loyal to the heart here is what i'm feeling okay loyal at the heart yeah, again uh, i feel like both of you here in this connection are feeling like this is faded like it's something that was meant to be um very loving and supportive of one another as well what else let's get these message cards out here for crystal number two crystal number two what's going on in this connection what's going on in this connection please for crystal number two we have i miss you more than you know yeah so for some of you if you're not with this person physically they are missing you very much okay um yeah really feeling that that absence here and again that might just be for some of you but for some of you i definitely did feel like th this wasn't happening in the physical world so it was kind of like a 5d um connection that was happening so you might not be with this person physically but for others um you certainly could be and this message may not be for you so let's see what else here for crystal number two i got a few out so i'm gonna try to do the same here but nothing else wants to come out right now <laughs> Crystal number two, what's going on in this connection, please? What's going on in this connection? I feel like this might be super specific here, taking a while. 
what's going on in this connection. All right, what do we have? It flipped over. You are always in my thoughts. Yeah, so yeah, very connected. Um, again, even if it's just telepathically here, I feel like there's, there's always um, some sort of communication going on between you. Um, and if it's not telepathically for you, if this is someone that you're, you know, talking to in the physical world, um, then this is someone here that even when you're not with them, you are in this person's thoughts, okay? Please appreciate every moment that we have together. So this person very appreciative of this connection is what I'm feeling here. Um, you or this person or both of you, um, very appreciative for the other. Let's get one more of these, please. At least one more. Thank you. <laughs> I am so afraid you will stop loving me. So someone here, uh, experiencing a little bit of fear in the mind here. I wasn't feeling that at all here. Um, but for some of you, this could be the case. Someone afraid to, uh, lose the other so afraid you will stop loving me yeah so if there is a distance between you um you know you're not together in the physical they could some of you again this might only be for some of you because uh, i wasn't picking up fear at all really coming through uh for either of you here um but yeah some of you there might be someone involved in this connection that might be afraid of losing the other okay or the other will stop loving them or something like that. Let's see. Let's get more. My passion and desire for you is burning hot. Yeah, I told you that right from the beginning, okay? Definitely a lot of sexual energy here in this connection. We have the devil, knight of wands, and I was feeling it right with the knight of wands there. So very, very passionate about you. I feel like we are on top of the world when we are together. Yeah, there's that bliss, right? They're feeling that blissful feeling when you're together here, um, for sure. Oop, that one wants to come out without me even shuffling. I can't stop looking at your photos. Yeah, so some of you, again, not necessarily in physical contact with this person, okay? Um, and they're looking at your photos and admiring your beauty here or your, you know, how handsome you are, how attractive you are. What else? You're so hot. <laughs> As I'm saying that, yeah, admiring how hot you are, okay? You're extremely attractive to this person, okay? Uh, very much so. They're, again, they want to build something pretty big here, uh, for sure, you or this person. Let's get some guidance cards out here for crystal number two in this situation. Guidance cards for crystal number two. Go dark. Take a break from social media. Bring your focus back to yourself. So for someone here, could be over-focused on the other person. That could be this little bit of a pause as well that I was picking up okay uh could be kind of removing themselves from social media to kind of quiet the noise here mm, what else some guidance for crystal number two connect yeah look at this yeah this is the exactly what's happening here connect call message or connect with someone that is important to you so yeah, definitely feeling like that's going to be something um, pretty prevalent in this connection right now is that connection, that communication. And one more, please, for crystal number two. So what do we have? Observe. Watch and listen carefully to everyone involved in the situation. So pay attention. There's that really working through your feelings. Let's figure out this, 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 and then that. This could involve other people, maybe, you know, um, listening to what other people are saying or, you know, advice from others, things like that, right? Um, let's look at all the, all of the players involved. Um, there could be multiple players involved here. Uh, watch and listen carefully to everyone involved. So just watch and listen carefully and, you know, you'll know. So what I feel this too is saying is that if, you, if you're not with this person and you watch and listen carefully, you're going to feel that their energy here uh, in this communication is going to show you what they're really feeling anyway, right? Even if they're not necessarily saying it in the physical world. If you're feeling it in the 5D, 
you'll still know, right? It's still kind of like listening carefully uh, from within, okay? Um, listening carefully from within for some of you, okay? So definitely be an observer. Uh, kind of try to, you know, take your focus back from um, others and kind of focus on yourself here. Um, this could also be, you know, other people on social media maybe putting their opinions and things into the situation and if they're making you feel like some sort of negativity or something like that that could be removing yourself from that as well you or this person okay but definitely connecting is what i'm feeling here for sure connecting call message or connect with someone that is important to you i do feel like you are both very important to one another here so okay crystal number two i really hope this reading was helpful if it was please give it a like and remember to subscribe those things really help my channel out leave me a comment as well i do appreciate it i love hearing from you guys and i do appreciate all of that help on my channel and to all of you that have been watching the ad the little short ads you know 15 30 seconds whatever i really do appreciate it i totally understand uh wanting to skip those five minute ads like who even makes a five minute ad but i know i don't like to watch those so um, I totally get that but I do appreciate it if you do it does help me out a lot and I appreciate you all being here today I hope this reading was helpful have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading if you resonated with crystal number three the green fluorite crystal and the magic card this will be your reading okay today we are asking spirit what's going on in this connection so when i pull this card it's such a light happy feeling um very very good energy coming through with the magic card i feel like this is two individuals feeling pretty good right now feeling like things are pretty magic uh you know magical things happening feeling um very light and happy um two individual people here uh feeling good is what i'm feeling here so let's see for crystal number three again doesn't mean you're necessarily with this person this connection um because i am feeling two individual people but if you're both feeling that high vibrational energy here um what i'm feeling here is it could be drawing you together you know what i mean uh that magnetism knight of pentacles so uh going slowly feeling like the need to move forward slowly here is what i'm feeling maybe um just taking your time with something someone here in this connection taking their time with something yep hanged man okay so yeah really kind of just taking their time taking a pause thinking things through fully um yeah whatever whatever they're what i feel here is whatever someone is working through is making them feel really good about where they're going let's see what else for crystal number three what do we have here we have the queen of one oh, queen of cups not wands queen of cups yeah beautiful so you're both feeling very open and receptive to love here is what i'm feeling you're both feeling um grateful i'm feeling grateful as well like a grateful heart grateful for everything that you have here now nice beautiful this is very very good energy actually uh i feel like very much in a high vibration here uh someone here or both of you even because <laughs> with the magic card i was definitely feeling both of you feeling very light happy fulfilled in yourselves in yourselves yeah so this is beautiful okay let's see what else let's get one more a deep passionate love feeling here coming through as well page of swords someone keeping their eye on the other really paying attention to all the details okay um could be planning something as well as what i'm feeling here mm, paying attention to the details could be planning something um very much focused on the other is what i'm feeling here as well very much focused on the other 
So this could be, a, of course, we're talking about connection. So it could be you being very focused on them, planning something could be vice versa. Um, and always keep in mind, these are general readings on YouTube. So not every message will resonate for everyone. Sometimes messages come through that don't even fit. And it could be for someone in particular, right? It could be uh, meant for someone else, okay? So let's see what else. Knight of Pentacles. What, why the Knight of Pentacles? Wow, yeah, moving slowly towards, wow. Wanting to make your wishes come true. Moving slowly toward that. Could be, I, I was feeling planning something, so maybe ticking off the boxes, um, like a checklist, a checklist of some sort. Trying to make one wish come true at a time. Really moving to the next level here is what I feel here. Yeah, making one thing, taking one step at a time, though. You know, not trying to rush anything. The hanged man. Why is the hanged man here? I definitely felt this is that moment of pause here, really, like reflection. Yeah, so, okay, so yeah, not overdoing it, exactly. Um, not taking on too much, one step at a time, okay? Someone here doesn't want to be burdens, uh, like doesn't want to take on additional burdens, okay? Or doesn't want to burden the other either, okay? Uh, wanting to take things one step at a time. Very strongly coming through here, Three of Cups, I mean, uh, Queen of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Okay, so, so Three of Pentacles is about working together, okay? Um yeah your energies are definitely working together right now for sure um your energies are really like aligning is what i'm feeling here but this could be planning something together as well uh something to do with you know your love so something to do with this connection uh taking it to a new level planning a next step yeah something about working together your energy is definitely vibing um with each other here is what i'm feeling for sure with that magic card page of swords you're both on the same page yeah you're both on the same page too uh king of wands yeah you're super passionate about one another here really knowing what you both want here and heading for it yeah this is definitely um one step at a time getting to where uh complete heart fulfillment can come in here okay um in other words making wishes come true but not rushing to get there really paying attention to all the details really planning things out um working together here to bring it all in okay and and that energy that you are both exuding here is beautiful high vibrational energy that will keep drawing that good stuff to you however slowly it may come step at a time it's fine you know good things come to those who wait as they say right um sometimes the best things come from a longer um path right wild wow yeah definitely a lot of passion here between you um wanting to go wild wanting to enjoy each other um really wanting to have fun together is what i'm feeling here for sure with the wild card um you're making each other's wishes come true. So I feel like you make each other feel really good in this connection. Both of your energies together here are just really fun, um, high vibrational. Wow, yeah. High vibrational energy. Um, it's very light. Like I said, I was getting a very light, fun energy coming from the both of you here. Um, so we have sexual union as well. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul for there you will find true bliss. So very attracted to one another here, wanting a physical connection here for sure. Very passionate about one another. Let's see what else. Relax. Yeah. Wanting to spend some time quietly with you as well. Uh, really wanting to reel it in and enjoy okay is what i'm feeling here enjoy some quiet time together relaxing together this could be you know like they're working toward it so it might be some quiet nights on the way to a next step in the connection right um 
I mean, you could be in a relationship with this person and maybe they're working toward the next wish of maybe, you know, getting engaged or um, married or whatever the next step is in your situation. Um, and they're taking it slowly, uh, you or this person, taking it slowly, um, really not wanting to take on too much, right? Kind of just relaxing through it, but enjoying each other in the process, okay? Um, and if this is someone coming toward you, I feel like this is them definitely taking action toward the next step, trying to work with you to bring that in. Um, but wanting to kind of just go with the flow and relax through it on the way here. Okay, what else? We have two. Wish upon a star, I can see. And, wow. Whoa, this is strong. Yeah. Wish upon a star. So this is a strong, powerful love here. Again, this is about wish fulfillment on both sides, I feel. Um, this nine of nine of cups was definitely giving me that as well and now we have wish upon a star this is about making your wishes come true both of you making each other's wishes come true beyond the ordinary very very much a high soul level connection here is what i'm feeling um could be even a twin flame only you will know that of course but um definitely very powerful okay um this love is deep okay um for sure definitely uh making each other's wishes come true too so like you know they're like everything you've asked for in a person this person provides is what i feel and vice versa okay very strong very nice again very light high vibrational energy coming through this reading i like it i like it a lot trust yeah so you trust one another you trust in your love, you trust in your feelings, and you trust each other um, completely here is what I'm feeling. There's a lot of trust between you um, in this connection. Definitely trusting in that love. What else for crystal number three here? We have move forward. Yeah, there it is, slowly moving forward. Absolutely, it might be slow moving, but it is still moving, right? Uh, definitely movement forward here in this connection. Okay, feeling that all the way through here for sure. Again, I am picking up slowly though, so keep that in mind. Happy, happy, yeah. So very, very much happiness between you. This is the vibe I was kind of feeling from the magic card. Like you're both just so happy and joyful. Um, individually, you know, each of you are both happy, happy, you know, happy, happy, joy, joy, very much. Um, just joyful blissful energy coming from you yeah it's like this deep inner peace you know you are just loving life loving things loving everything wow look at this yeah okay so trust the great mystery okay yeah so the you're you're trusting in the unknown here is what i feel um both of you really trusting that you know in your heart where you're going okay um, and trusting in the great mystery of it all on the way, okay? And stag spirit, take the lead. So one of you really wanting to take the lead here um, could be either uh, either one of you here wanting to take the lead and kind of take that next step, okay? Um, could be both of you as well wanting to kind of work together here and take the lead toward the next step here in this connection. What else for crystal number three here? what's going on in this connection there's definitely a lot here for sure opening to your spiritual source yeah i'm telling you i feel like you're both very high vibrational this could definitely be a twin flame connection here um i'm feeling uh you find sanctuary in each other is what i just heard here um yeah you're like home to one another here mm -hmm, yep for sure there's a deep soul bond uh, here coming through crystal number three and that might not be for all of you but definitely for some of you there is a deep soul bond with this person a possible twin flame connection here what else for crystal number three and magic i mean magic for sure surrounds the twin flame journey like the divine is so magical on this journey right so forgiveness yeah so for some of you healing comes from acceptance is what's sticking out to me so someone in an acceptance of something here um 
could be from the past. Help me to fully accept that what is, knowing that this alone will open me to the new. Yeah, so accepting possibly this slow movement here. Really trying to, this card here I feel is really trying to open up one of you here to accepting it as it is living in the moment okay um and really forgiving yourself for you don't need to feel guilty for wanting more sooner something about not feeling guilty about wanting it sooner so don't feel don't let feelings of guilt bog you down here uh one or both of you here could be feeling some sort of a guilt about the speed of this connection or something and again, that might only be for some of you, like all of these messages. <laughs> um, listen with your heart. Yeah, really hearing. Yeah, feeling the truth with the heart. Feeling the truth with your heart. Okay. Um, yeah, L re really kind of getting out of the mind. I feel both of you have done that here. Because with this card here, magic, I was feeling here um, that you're both kind of raising your vibration. So this could have been where someone was feeling this guilt and they've you know they've worked through it and healed it and now they're really listening with their heart and they're kind of letting the mind out of it right um just knowing that you know we are human and it's okay to have those feelings right um it's okay to want it quicker and it's okay um but good things come to those who wait as well so it's okay to feel that way don't beat yourself up about it if this is you, you know, that was experiencing that energy, of course, it could be someone else involved here, um, your person as well. But I feel like with the magic card that you both have transcended that obstacle is what I'm feeling. Because I, I'm feeling, like I said, this very happy, happy type of energy here with that magic card. Both really coming into uh, alignment for sure. Your energies aligning up is what I'm feeling here. Let's see. You're both wanting the same thing. Love offer. Yeah. So a love offer possibly um, coming in. This could be that next step that we were talking about, right? It could be a love offer coming um, from this person or vice versa. Okay. Someone here really wanting to offer love. Okay. So... I didn't pull, I wasn't going to pull these cards originally for this reading, um, but in crystal number one, I was really pulled to get message cards out and guidance cards. So we have three more to go, um, but I wasn't initially planning this, but it tended to work out well for the first one. So, wow, my feelings for you are so strong, it scared me. So at some point here, um, this is very common in twin flame connections as well, okay? The energy and, and love is so, so strong and intense that, you know, one counterpart could have been afraid and backed up from the connection, okay? Uh, they were scared by it here. And again, these messages might not be for all of you. But for some of you here, I am definitely feeling that uh, twin flame coming through. I want to be with you forever. So really, yeah, really wanting that forever, right? And taking steps necessary to get there, I feel, uh, toward that wish fulfillment. We have, I can't stay away from you much longer. So if this is a person that you've been away from, um, you know, a twin in separation or something like this, uh, I feel that they, they're, they're not wanting to stay away much longer. So they are working, again, very slowly and diligently, but still, nonetheless, definitely working toward you here. And let's get one more. For crystal number three, please. Keep the faith. Yeah, keep the faith alive here. Um, you know deep in your heart what you feel. So keep the faith alive. You know deep in your heart what you feel. You both really feel this connection deeply, okay? It makes you extremely happy. Um, yeah, your soul is guiding you here um, with those feelings of love. Uh, it's really powerful. Um, yeah, really a need to keep that faith though. So, you know, maybe there's been some doubt or something like that on one part or the other. Is that the flipper? That is the flipper, I guess. Yep. Okay, I love you with every fiber of my being. Wow. 
yeah told you deep deep powerful love here soul love here every fiber of their being beautiful what else for crystal number three please I want to be with you forever wow so double message here of I want to be with you forever so yeah really looking toward that future really working toward it here wanting it very much here one or both of you of course I feel like it's definitely both of you I feel like you you really vibe well with this person is what I'm feeling I fantasize about what our life would be like together being together yeah so dreaming about you fantasizing about the future as well um yeah really looking at the possibilities here beautiful what else no one makes me feel the way you do yeah very special to this person um very special worth working for here worth putting that work in taking step by step one step at a time I feel like um, you both feel uh, that this is worth it to you um, because it's so strong, the feelings here. Okay, let's get some guidance here for crystal number three. Guidance in this situation for crystal number three. Okay, we have courage. Be courageous and take action toward your goals. Yeah, so I feel like definitely someone here standing up in their courage, right? Really having the um, state of mind here to move forward toward the goal of their, you know, of their heart. The goals of their heart here. What else for crystal number three? Guidance, please, for crystal number three. Faith. Wow, faith again. Difficult roads often lead to beautiful destinations. Have faith through challenge. A blessing will be revealed, okay? So another message from Spirit here about faith, okay? Um, really important to keep the faith alive here in this situation. What else for crystal number three, please? We have... Focus on yourself. Focus on what makes you the happiest. See, that's what I feel like both of you have been doing. This is exactly the feeling I was getting with the magic card. Two individuals, both focusing on themselves, really working on themselves, putting that inner work in, raising their vibrations to a level of happy love, love, joy, bliss, right? Yeah, I feel like this is what you are doing. So this here is saying continue to do that. It's working, right? Continue to do that, okay? Um, continue to work on yourselves. Continue to raise your vibration here um, because it's really important is what I'm feeling um, in this connection. It is very slow moving and sometimes we might wanna fall back into the negativity but what I feel this is saying, Spirit is uh, encouraging us to keep forging ahead, okay? Even if it's slow and even if it seems like nothing's happening, kind of keep forging ahead. Keep working on yourself here, okay? And keep that faith alive. We have two messages of that, so very important as well is what I'm feeling here. All right, crystal number three, that is what I have for you for today. I hope this reading was helpful. If it was, please give it a like and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. All of those things also help my channel out very much. So I am so appreciative to all of you who do take that time to interact with the video. And also to anyone out there who watches the ads, um, I do appreciate it as well because that helps me out as well. Okay, guys, I hope again this was helpful for you. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in the next reading.